up, Polish? It's KK here, back with some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now, like I did with Pokemon Emerald, I forgot to explain what this game is all about in the first episode. But in my defense, I had a headache, so I wasn't thinking straight. You're probably thinking why I'm out of breath. This is the fourth time I'm recording this friggin' opening. Mm. I kept trying to record it in higher quality, but it lags, so... Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, basically what the game is, it's just a text-based crime solver where you go around as Phoenix Wright, the defense attorney, and gather clues to try and get your client declared not guilty. Simple as that, but these cases can get pretty uh, long, so I may have to cut them, which means this game might take even longer than Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's get started on case two here. Turnabout Sisters, yes. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like this, that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, nine? To pick it up? Yeah. I'll be in the pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. In the Japanese series, she's obsessed with... I mean, the Japanese... It's this game in Japanese. She's obsessed with noodles. But they change it to burgers. <laughs> uh, that's because they changed the setting from Japan to California. Whatever. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Beep. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.47 p.m. Faye and Company Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho ho! You're not cogniferous. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Ho ho! You are not cogniferous of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I. I should have been more careful. Ho ho! What are you, Santa? <laughs> Where's my presents? I haven't gotten a good present for years! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Ah! Oh no! Oh, I'm so sick of that statue. Ooh! Ew. Red, white, blue. Hm. I know what that means, but <laughs> you'll find out later. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fan Company Law Office. Yeah, Law Offices. Wow, they sure are working late. Uh-oh. I'm late. Huh? 
That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we yeah, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Welcome to the investigation part. <laughs> moving, moving, and more moving. <laughs> that smell. Blood! <laughs> Sis! Someone's there! Chief? Chief? CHIEF! Snake? Snake? SNAKE! <laughs> That's what I think of every time I hear that. Who are you? That's the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. Well, that was nice. I thought you were going to leave her on the floor. I went back up to the chief where she lay under the window. <clears throat> her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Till finally she was cold. Chief. Eh, time to examine here. Uh, there we go. Ah, it's lagging a little bit here. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Uh, some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass life stand. Really? Uh, I'll examine her. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand broken in the back of the room. I just examined those. Uh, nothing else here se seems to be. Uh, nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Well, let's examine it. Word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Which will be an important piece of evidence later. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl is doing here. Alright, well, let's move over here. Uh, yeah. Let's examine the phone. Right, I better call the police. Huh? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Hmm. Looks like somebody, someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What was, what, what was that? Someone's screaming from outside the window? Titties! <laughs> She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand. Ah, uh, okay. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh. Oh, she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Ah, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Hold on, let's see if we can talk to her first. Yeah. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. 
And sis! Sis! So she was already dead. You and the chief. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes. She says she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Alright, now let's present. Seems to lag when I do it. Places where I have to examine. Yeah. Before Mia died, she wrote his message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. The, that's my name! Well, why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Well, why would she write. Why would sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. Oh boy. Here we go. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Ugh. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek! This word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What?! The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer? I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. Well, what? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and get, didn't get out until the next morning. Jeez, it kept you overnight? My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours and began at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. <clears throat> September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Wow. They have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> it's up to you. Of course I will. Sorry, not a chance. No. Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. R really? Whoa! Did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I could do it? No. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office. You looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It, it's okay, I understand. A and I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <clears throat> ha! So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Nice comments, enemy. <laughs> That's what she said. I, I'm i sorry? I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. I've been giving Maya a voice this whole time. Hm, whatever. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch when I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. I know. I guess I should say I said that wrong. <laughs> 
There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. Uh, a s a sp spirit medium? Yeah. <laughs> Stir daddy of my own. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. Boy, that sounds nasal. <clears throat> yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear about it in your own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure her conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it! Yeah! I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> your cell phone. <laughs> so, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it! Right! Oh. I just remembered. A detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. <clears throat> I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Okay, whatever. Uh, day that crime opened up again. Let's go spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte, uh, or medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. And she left the mountains to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. <laughs> well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We could just ask her who killed her. I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um... I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. You think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. <laughs> I refuse. Nah, I'll accept it. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Or, tomorrow. What well, if this guy refuses? They told me that I don't find one. The state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? Yeah, now I'm giving Phoenix the voice. They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. <clears throat> right, I'll be back. Oh, it's time. Day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> yeah. So then, what did you... When did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Th then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Ugh, poor Maya. <laughs> she's not my favorite character, but she's alright. Uh, Gross broke off. 
September 6, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Or we could... examine some stuff. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it practically gives me, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose, which I think I have right now. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's really nothing else here. We have to. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite. Find this elite lawyer she's talking about. I don't think I can talk to her or anything new. Oh, your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she could still be alive. Hmm. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. <clears throat> About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... he... he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her all by herself up, all, up on that mountain. She's not really alone, which we'll find out next game, but yeah. So, who was that man who um ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. Oh god, here we go. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit me medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to con contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Alright, this guy should be back now. Really? Oh, I know what we gotta do now. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Dummy. September 6th. Yeah, whatever. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that bus guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Duh. Um, right, and you were... <laughs> Detective Switches. Detective Gumtree. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, let's just go with his real name. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right. At your service. Hang on. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go call me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. E yes, sir. But be right there. Um, ahem. <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Whew. I think I'm Maya's lawyer. Mia. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? 
Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. Yay. <sighs> um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? The guy in my background! Woohoo! I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. M Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. That's a lie. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, some other dude. Ah, uh, don't you talk about him that way. You make him sound- You make him barely sound human. Blech. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20? Don't you have to go through years of schooling to become a lawyer? Uh, whatever. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. I'll tell you right this, none of which are true. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Alright, now we gotta present... Ah, uh, where's that note at? There it is. I was wondering, did you see Maya face cell phone? Oh, that. I have that. You think you'd give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. <laughs> Some people still- I don't tell him not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something the matter? Oh, no, um... The that carrying strap on the cell phone. This? Hmm, it says the Steel Samurai. Warrior of Neo- Neo Old Tokyo. Who at the mouthful? Steel Samurai. That action hero on TV? Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She, she was worried it might get lost if we went down to the precinct. That was she said. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I know what's on it. I guess I've asked the liquid. Y'all done, pal? Um, uh, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness of your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. <laughs> The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then? Ahaha! <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than try and get a detective to leak information. <laughs> you got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Whee -wee. We'll see if this guy's back. Yeah, I doubt it. Nope. I forget when he comes back. Probably after we talk to her. Yeah, yeah, come on. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee hee. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. <laughs> Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Oh, God, that's a horrible whisper. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to come examine that one. Cross-examine that one. What the heck did I say? Okay. 
You don't need to worry about any of this other stuff in here, but this right there. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Jeez, you nosy turd. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy! You, you, you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. What you witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observed incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, oh, better not encourage her. Or, you know, that thing that occur, um, happened the other day, the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see, um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you will just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, no, no! Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee hee! You know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed as much. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. Tee hee! And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. There's someone staying here with you. Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think there's anything I can present to her. Nope. Is he back yet? Yes! Thank you. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! If that was a, the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Aha! So, you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, y yes, it's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. <laughs> hmm? That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? How come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. One odd reaction. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha. <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go talking to that, taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Well, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Er, ahem. Uh, anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely possible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I, I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Whew, so much talking. <laughs> You're refusing. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Well, <clears throat> Well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see? But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course I knew. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go out look elsewhere. I think not. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not. I said. Well, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? 
I've nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A uh, mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything we can present here. Nah. September 6, 3.42 p.m. Whew! Hiya! Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest, I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> no. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Er, I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What? It's been over 15 minutes? We barely talked. What the heck? What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Nah. Defend my... I made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? 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 Well... I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did you become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one, there on, no one on their side. Maya. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. We're right, thank you. Phew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all the defensive. There has to be something in there. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Go back to the Gatewater Hotel here. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, er, facilities? If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? <laughs> uh, wait. Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Gah! You, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Hmm. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and mother Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? I don't think so. Now we can snoop in the drawer. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? Uh, wiretap? Hmm. 
What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap out of the court record. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. I wish she had something like this in our hotel room. There's a story behind all this, I know it! Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy! Still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Wow! There's the end of the first part of the investigation. There's only two parts to this one. Yes. So, there you have it. The, uh... First part of the second case. On Friday, we'll get to the court trial and should be fun, yes. <laughs> Very rarely do I like the investigation parts, but there's a couple cases where I like them. <sighs> this one's okay on the investigation part, but eh, whatever. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see my coalition next time. Later!